Hi, Anna Nice. I'm not sure how to say your name, sweetie. Missouri Stitcher, stitching with the uh, probably sisterlies. Yeah. Hi, Claire. Hi, everyone. So I moved my light, but I think now it's blown out. Like the detail, you kind of lose the detail because it's so bright. Hey, everyone. I'm five minutes early, so Kristen might not be on here yet. Hope everyone's having a great evening. Thanks for joining us for Witch Paint Wednesdays. I'm going to have to move my light. Maybe if I'm out of the way. No, definitely have to move my light. I like my light on this side because last week when I was painting, so I had the light come from this side. So when I was painting, I was creating a shadow where I was trying to paint. So I thought, well, I'll just move my light over. But now she's just totally blown out. Let me see if I turn this light down a little bit. I look like it's, she looks good, but you can't really see me, but it's not about me. Hey, Kristen. So I'm trying to remember how to add you. Good Lord. Let's see. There we go. Okay. So Kristen, how the heck did you ask to be on the live with me? I don't know how this thing works still. Hey, girl. Can you see me? I see you. <laughs> I, see you I know. Down. <laughs> I'm um doing oh. something different. Boy, it it's so different from um like the camera. I wish we could flip it so it's not backwards. I know that says Noel, but <laughs> it's backwards. I'm painting a pillow. That's so cool. With the same I got thing. this, but yeah, I wanted it. I wanted some color in it. That's awesome. So So you can paint on fabric with the Debbie's D Y I. Yep. Okay. And then you just spray it with um or dampen it. Some people use sponges with vinegar water oh. to set it. Cool. So I'll have to <laughs> lay down to see y'all. <laughs> I know my lighting is terrible. I mean, I just don't know how to fix that unless I have another light shining on What's the wrong? Person. Your picture looks really good. Well, I had it a lot brighter, so I wasn't so dark. But then she's just blown out and you can't see it. So, yeah. Anyways, how was your day? Good. I'm tired. Are you? Yeah, from decorating. Oh, my gosh. You do a lot. <laughs> she sent me pictures today or snapped me pictures today of all her Christmas decorations. It's so pretty, but there's a ton of it. You need to... um. Do you did you show that on your Instagram so everyone can see? I think I posted one, but I'll post the rest. So gorgeous. I need to video it. Can you hear my printer in the background? A little bit. Not bad though. My new printer that Oh, you got it working? I did. And you know what? Right in the nick of time, because my old one died on me. And I called the company that came out and fixed it last time. And they said, and there was like an error code on it. And so I gave him the error code and he said, well, it could be, you know, several different things. And he said, instead of having a guy, cause it's like an hour and a half away. He's like, instead of having someone come there, not knowing what it's going to be, you should bring it in us. Well, who has time to drive an hour and a half to drop off a stupid printer? So, <laughs> so I was under the gun to get that new one the color corrected and I did it. I worked on it for about an hour and a half and, and it is printing beautifully and it's prints like twice as fast as my other printer. So is your room all set up then? My room. Oh, on the other side of the studio. Yeah. No, 
No, I painted trim um, all day Saturday. That's all I did. After, well, for the most of the day, anyway. I painted the trim. and uh, But there's guy, all this other stuff that I didn't realize had to be done. Kevin said the, around the trim has to be caulked and all this stuff. And I'm like, ugh. So it'll be a little while before that's done because they're focusing on remodeling the basement and getting it ready for Thanksgiving. So anyways, <laughs> hey, everyone. I need to get what's, painting. I'm just sitting here visiting. <laughs> what's Gadget Girl Stitchers? What's her first name? That's Tina. Tina, that's what I thought. Yeah. I'm painting a pillow, Tina. She asked what I was painting. Oh, okay. Um, because it's all, can you see it on here? Yeah. Can, can you read it all or does it no. just show the end? And oh, it looks like you're painting no. <laughs> it's a long pillow, but I wanted some color in it to go with my. Christmas decor. Um, yes. Well, it matches the angel that I'm painting. <laughs> it does. Yeah, I got to get more light because my palette is not even lit up. I'm going to have to do so. I'll, I'll be right back. Talks amongst yourselves. Okay. But, yeah, and I'm painting it with the DIY paint. A lot of people paint, like, furniture and stuff with it. But um, I'm going to try to zoom this out and fix it. Um, and then you just spray it down with water and vinegar mixed, and it'll set it in there. And I probably won't ever wash the pillow, so. I'm going to try to get more view here. That's what I'm afraid of getting paint on the pillow because it's red so I know there is no getting rid of it if I do get it on so I'm going to try to be extra careful I was go. thinking about that earlier that looks good Therese yeah that's much better I have a light on both sides now I'm kind of I look like I'm sunburnt. Um, I have to tell you, I was making dinner. I, I mean, I was seriously was probably still chewing my dinner when I came down here to get ready. But I was making um, fresh green beans. And the way I do it is I steam them until they're a little bit tender. And then I fry them in onion, mushroom, and butter, and salt and pepper. And then when they're just about done, I throw in some minced garlic. And we love them like that. Well, I didn't steam them long enough. So they're, you know, in the pot or in the pan with the butter and in the mushroom and onion. And they're taking forever to cook. Everything else is done, but I'm waiting on these green beans. And they were just like crunchy and like rubbery and icky. So I'm like, why are these not cooking? And everything else was like caramelized. I mean, everything was great, but the green beans weren't done. So I was drinking a beer and I'm like, hey, I'm just going to throw some beer in there. I put like a quarter cup of beer in and put the lid back on and it steamed them like in three minutes and they were done and the beer added the best flavor and it got like <laughs> all the caramelized bits on the bottom came off and it was, oh my gosh, it was the best green beans I've ever had. So there you go. Happy accident. That's a good mistake. I know. Drinking well, not a mistake really, but... Remedy. I'm going to get red paint on this pillow. Drinking coffee in the beautiful new Angel Coffee mug. Aw, cool. <laughs> Tina bought one of my mugs. So I'm glad it got there safely. I always get nervous when I'm shipping something that's breakable. Hi, Sally. Are they on oh, your <laughs> Etsy? Al Sally said, ha ha, alcohol fixes everything. <laughs> that's funny. Well, I use, I mean, beer is great for cooking. Like, uh, you know, what do you, sip here, a little bit in the can, a sip here. Okay, I got to get working. I'm, I really want to get this done tonight so that I can do the, all the crackling and all that. So we'll get to see how you do that. Um. Your crackling. 
Well, not really because I have to put on a, a coat of gloss on there and let that dry for like an hour and then put the crackle on. So oh. it's not something I can do and you guys can watch. Beer and chili is great. That's funny. I'm making chili tomorrow. Thank you, Sally. Gabby wanted me to make chili. I need to make that. I made meatloaf tonight. Oh, yummy. And baked potatoes. Oh, my gosh. That is hilarious. I have not made a baked potato in I don't know how long. Because we don't, we try to eat, you know, kind of low carb. But I made a dang baked potato today because I bought potatoes for Thanksgiving dinner. And I snuck in and got a couple potatoes out. Oh, my gosh. It was so good. I love potatoes. Right. Ralph and Gabby love baked potatoes, too. I like them. They're okay. But. <laughs> Colleen. Stitching with the sisterlies. Her name is Colleen. And she said, I believe that angel looks like me. <laughs> it definitely <laughs> does. <laughs> I love that. Uh, the brand of crackle I use is, uh, what is it called? Josonia. I think it's been around forever. Um, here, I'll get this bottle. I love this crackle medium. I've tried, I mean, there's other crackle mediums out there, but a lot of them you have to put the crackle medium on and then paint over it, and what you paint over top of it, that crackles. But that's good for, like, furniture or something, but on a painting, you know, you're constantly working it. So this is put on after you're completely done with your painting. But the reason I put the gloss on first is so the crackle medium has like something to slide. That sounds weird, but some, so when it's drying, what forms the crack is, is as it dries, it splits. And if it doesn't have something slippery to, to slide on to split, you won't get crackles. I learned that the hard way because I didn't use, you know, I had like, I use matte paints and uh, it didn't crackle. And so I figured out why through trial and error. So do you have to use a glossy gloss or just a top coat? Yeah, it's a gloss varnish basically. And, and I let it dry like an hour. Sometimes. The reason, and I found this out by mistake too. It, I mean, you can let it dry overnight, which is fine. But if you let it just dry for like an hour, Sometimes, especially if you have watercolor or um, if you use scrapbook paper underneath as a collage and then paint over top of it, if everything hasn't been cured, like sitting for days, sometimes what happens is the color from the paper can seep through the paint and do some interesting things too. So yeah, I just, and it doesn't always happen that way. Uh, Crackle is one of those things that's not a perfect science, and it's different almost every time. But it's I think that's the fun part. I like those surprises. So does that, do you think, because I like the way that crackles on your paints. Yeah. So do you think that'll work on this paint? Yeah, because it's actually over top. It's not... It's not necessarily cracking the paint, although it can if the paint isn't all the way dry and cured. The paint can crack, but for the most part, it's just crackling on the surface, and then you go over it with like a raw umber paint watered down, and that fills in the cracks and brings them out so you can see them better. Oh, that's how you get them darker? Yeah, yep. I think I'm going to have to try that. Show me the bottle again. All right. What brand is it? It's J-O-S-O-N-J-A. Um, Crackle me. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because it's backwards. So I know. It's taking me a second. I can take a picture of it and send it to Mexico. Stitching with the sister, Lee, she said, my face crackles, too. <laughs> Yeah, I'm getting some of those crackles. <sighs> I know. I almost got bangs today. I, went I know it. You chickened <laughs> out, though. I totally chickened out. 
because my the lady that cuts my hair, you know, because Kristen left me. Kristen used to do my hair. She used to do my roots. Now I got to do them by myself or by myself. And Kristen used to cut my hair, and then she had to move to Tennessee. <laughs> so, anyways, um, I have this wonderful lady. She lives right down the road from my mom, and uh, I've been going to her ever since. And what has that been? Twenty years now. And yeah, she's really like. She would rather, like, she always tells me this. Let's just cut this much off. And if you want more, come back in tomorrow and I'll just, I'll just do it again. <laughs> like, she's always afraid to cut too much off, which I so appreciate that. And um, so we were, like, sh you know, going back and forth about these bangs. And I just chickened out because I said, you know, it's the holidays. And if I hate it, I got, like, holiday parties. I got Thanksgiving. And I'm, like, I don't want to be farting around with my hair and and upset about it, you know. What did she say about it? She, she is, because I asked her, I said, what is your honest opinion? Should I have bangs or not? And the see, the problem is I have this natural part, and I can't have a full bang because it will split right here where my part is no matter what. So yeah, she, that's what mine does. So I was just going to have bangs on the one side. So she like took, this is what she did. She took my hair and she like made it like they looked like bangs. And they would be like side swept like that. Does that yeah. <laughs> that looks ridiculous. But anyways. And I don't know. She was, I mean, she would do it obviously if I wanted her to. But I told her, I said, you know what? Let's wait until, and I only go like maybe two to three times a year to get my hair cut. And um, I told her after the first of the year, if I'm brave, I'll do it then. But... That's, I got that big collet. I can't get in the picture here. Hello. <laughs> right here. I got that bad collet right there. So it like just sticks straight up. Darn hair doesn't do what we want it to. No, mine definitely has a mind of its own. So I'm going around the wings and just putting a white on it. And so I try to keep in mind that I'm going to put not a stain, but just like a light wash of raw umber over it to make the crackle show. So I keep that in mind when I'm painting and I know things are going to tone down a bit. So I'm not afraid to have the stark white because it won't end up being stark white. But sort of, yeah. That raw umber antiques it, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I tell you what, I have, I just do some of the stupidest things, but I, it make, I just laugh at myself because what else are you going to do? But the other day, I'm working on my computer, and and this is my old computer, and and I I'm I'm just like having a hard time seeing it. I'm like, what is the deal? Why is it so dark? I can't see anything. I don't know how this happened, but somehow the screen got turned way down. And I've been working like that, God knows how long. But it you know it gets dark so early now that. When it was dark out, I could hardly see the screen. And and then I turned the brightness up. I'm like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> Look, I can actually see it now. <laughs> so, I mean, I didn't go in and change that. So I'm guessing I've been working like that for probably all summer. But I think it was the time change that made, made me realize how dark I had my screen. Um. Batteries going low for some reason. My charger ain't working. So how many people do you got coming over for Thanksgiving? Oh, it's not as many as I thought. Um, I think it's, tw I want to say 23. I thought it was going to, well, our one nephew's not coming. Him and his wife, they have five or six kids. So that right there 
knocks it down quite a bit. But I don't think they were here last year, and they normally come every other year, so I was I thought they were coming this year. Um, Sally asks, Teresa, do you use full body acrylics? I have a huge variety. I like golden. These are my favorite, um, matte fluid acrylics. But I do have, I think I know what you're talking about. Um, what are these? I don't know what this one is, but the ones in the tube, they don't say fluid acrylic, but they have to me the same consistency. So I like golden beads. It's my favorite, but I have a lot of Dick Blick paints too, because that's where I like to shop is on Dick Blick. And I made the mistake of buying these open acrylics, not, not even realizing that it said open on them. Yeah. And what those are, it's for people that paint outside, like, you know, landscapes and stuff, and it, it has a slower drying time, which if you want that, then you want the open acrylics. But I like to keep working, and I like to keep layering, so I don't want, I want it to dry quick. Not all the time. On the face, I like to use, I'll use a, a medium just to keep it so that I can blend it more. But for the most part, I like it to dry quick. I'm having technical difficulties. Uh-oh. Why? Is your phone dying? Not my phone. There we go. Okay. I got it fixed. My iPad, but the way I got it set up and looking at the... um. My phone with that light, it's sort of blinding me. Mm. So this way I can look at the iPad. I didn't even bring my laptop down because I knew it wasn't going to work from last week. So. <coughs> so I'm going to figure this thing out. On I know there's a way to save the story, and I... Although my only concern is I'm wondering if because we go so long on these videos that it's too much and you can't save them. I don't know. But I checked my settings right before I went live. And it says save to my phone and then save to the archives. Archives. We'll, we'll see what happens. So another thing is... Um... I guess we can try to do, do you got Zoom on your phone? I have Zoom on my laptop, but I can, I can download it to my phone. So that's what Dion's been using is Zoom on Facebook. Okay. So we can try that and figure out how to do it and test it. Okay. And I was reading up last night. Um, there's a setting in there because usually it just shows one person at a time unless the other one starts talking. Yeah. And, um, but they said there's a setting in there. A girl said that you can do split screen. Um, I saved the article, so. Okay. Anyways, I think we should try to do that. I'm willing Okay. I'm try that for sure. I use, um, I took a class from, not a class, but like an online little tutorial from Ronnie Walter. She's an artist and she helps artists with licensing and stuff. Anyways, it was a few years ago and her class was through Zoom. And it was cool because oh. for a class, it was neat because if someone's as whoever's talking, they're shown on the full screen. So as yeah, like when students or whatever were asking a question, they would show up on full screen. So that was neat. But so I have used Zoom. I have it on my computer, and it worked really nicely. I thought. Yeah, I use it for Dion. Some of their meetings, they use it. But um, to stream it, we just got to figure out how to stream it through Facebook. 
Oh, so when they're live, she, she uses it. She streams it through Facebook Live. Oh. So then we can do this on Facebook. Well, how on earth do you do that? <laughs> I don't know, but we're going to figure it out. All right. So we're not going to be on next week because it's the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. Um, but the week after that, that'll give us a little more time to, to... time to figure it out. Yeah. Or maybe Facebook will work again. By then, that might, yeah. Wouldn't that be a lot easier? It'd be a lot nicer. Hold on, I want to read this. <laughs> Tina Dallas. said, I'm glad we don't show up. I'm half dressed watching y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Colleen said, go in gallery mode for split screen. Oh, oh. yeah, that's what it said on um, okay. Zoom. Yeah, because she, her, okay, so Colleen's sister Cheryl and her, they do floss tube together, but um, Colleen is out of state visiting. I think she's staying with her daughter or something. But anyway, they wanted to do their floss tube, so they did a split screen, and I... I think I asked them in their comments and I didn't go back. Maybe you answered it and I didn't read it, but I was asking them how they did it. So they must have used Zoom too. Well, thank did you. Did they tape that. it and then download it then? Or did they do it live? Um, she said, yep, yeah, but that was before you asked that question. So I'm not sure. She said, oh, they, they didn't, didn't do it, it live. Oh, okay. So, but there is a way to do it live and stream it through Facebook. Huh. So when I was researching apps, there are apps that you can, or software, I guess, because you have to do it, most of them, through the computer. But, yeah, it's, like, really expensive. I'm like, yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, because we just need a temporary fix till Facebook gets, you know, that up and running again. So I don't want to spend a bunch of money and, you know, all that jazz. I don't understand what the holdup is. I don't know either. All that rigmarole. So, I, <laughs> you know, when I do my pause too, sometimes I'd say a word and that like, then I say it over and over. I used the rigmarole like three times in my last Floss 2 video. I'm like, where did that even come from? Man, I got two to catch up on your Floss <laughs> tubes. I'm two behind. <laughs> you were two behind last week, too. I caught up at the airport. That one, I was two behind. But maybe I'm three behind. Did you just post another one? Yeah, once a week. So uh, I did one on Saturday. Yeah, I'm three behind. I think that was, there was one of them. I think it was last the last one I did where I showed, um, talked about you and your business and your furniture. And I put in pictures of your stuff. Oh. I forgot to take up close pictures of this. I'm looking for a live streaming app for YouTube that works with an iPad. I have no idea. Yeah, I don't know. If you find out, let us know. Right. right. <laughs> Colleen likes your painting on the pillow. It's making it pop. It's, yeah. I can hardly see it because all the comments are over what you're working on. You'll probably have that done in no time. Are you going to start working on your furniture then? No. No. Um, well, because I just got the sides left to do on this. But um, see this tree? Oh, cool. It's galvanized metal. I love that. Um, it's a little too bright and shiny, so I'm going to add some rust to it. Oh, cool. Is I'm in the Christmas spirit today. I love it. Hi, Turbies. Turbo's up here with me, and he's... Aww. 
I think he, he hears, wants to go downstairs. He hears his Aunt Teresa. <laughs> Say hi to Teresa. Turbo! My He's dog. like whining to get out. Aww. I guarantee he smells food down there. <laughs> uh, so I get up this morning and the first I said to Kevin, I says, good morning, have a good day. And he's like, he doesn't say anything other than, Athena threw up over here. <laughs> like, oh, okay. So, okay, good morning to you to. too. Exactly. He's not a morning person whatsoever. So that's what I woke up to. And then she threw up in the basement too. Well, you know what she's doing? She's such a sneaker. She loves to tear up cardboard boxes. Like once in a while, I'll just give her a cardboard box and she attacks it like, like it's, I don't know, like she's just lost her mind. And, but normally, I mean, she doesn't get it in her mouth and she doesn't eat it or anything. Well, she ate some the last time and she's throwing it up. Oh, is that why? Yeah, because there's little pieces of cardboard in her vomit. And I'm like, okay, we're done with that. No more tearing up cardboard for you. <laughs> um, Tina, I am going to show you. But this is, I think I talked about it last week, but Dixie Bell Iron Pantina. So it's got little tiny tiny you can't even see them at all um things of metal in it it goes on you can see it's like a dark gray do you have you used that and then um you spray it with the pantina spray but i loved those trees but i want some rust because all my decorations are sort of oldish I love it. Looking. Well, I had to buy some new ones. I started the switch over last year. And this year, didn't Gabby send you the snap? We were at Hobby Lobby, and I, um, they were like, their shelves were empty. And um, everything I wanted was, like, way on the top shelf that they haven't got down yet. And this one guy kept getting stuff down for me. Well, I found something else I wanted, and he wasn't there to get it down for me. So I went and got that big, huge, tall ladder. Ah, I love it. And got up there on my own, and I was embarrassed. Gabby's like, Mom. <laughs> and she snapped me in his video on me. I thought she's probably sent it to you. I didn't see that. That's so funny. I, I get it. Said, <laughs> I know. It. And then these older women were there and wanted a tree up there, a little decorative <laughs> tree. They and I'm getting work. them. <laughs> yeah. Funny. I love it. Oh, she shared the link to the Dixie Bell store. Oh, yeah, and my frog's too. I was talking about that. Um, oh, shoot, I lost my train of thought. Oh, it's like when you're at the clothing store and, they, and their stuff's way up high and they got those little hooks hidden, like kind of tucked in there. I just get them and get my own stuff, and then they usually come up to you like, oh, 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 we'll get that for you. I'm like, I'm not going to hurt myself getting this thing down. <laughs> I know it. Gabby's like, Mom, you need to let them do it. And it's like, no. We're so impatient. That's our problem. <sighs> Isn't it fun when you can embarrass your kids, though? <laughs> yes. The thing about it is, the older she gets, the more she's doing like I did. <laughs> yeah, we usually end up like our mothers. So, I don't know if you finished. How many did you say you got coming for Thanksgiving? I think it was 23. I just um, was going through Good the Lord. last night. 
that's small compared to last year. It's, I think the most we've ever had was 35. And that's just, that was like my mom and Jerry. And like, there were, um, you know, like sometimes we have extra people come that aren't family, but yeah, I'm, I'm cool with 23. So yeah, I uh, went <laughs> I went grocery shopping today without a list. So I thought, well, at least I'll get the bulk of it done. And I'm sure I forgot little things here and there and I can go this weekend. But you wouldn't believe the grocery store. You would have thought it was the day before Thanksgiving. It was so busy. I'm like, don't you people work? <laughs> Why are you here? <laughs> yeah. I know I haven't went yet. I'm going to get up and, like, go at, like, 6 o'clock in the morning. You know what, though? At our Kroger, if you go that early, you have to do self-checkout. They don't have any cashiers. And there's no freaking way I'm doing self-checkout with all them groceries. No. Check out. I'm so bad at it. It just never fails that the guy has to come over 10 times. I'm buying, you know, five things, but the guy's got to come over 10 times because... I didn't put it on the thing, and it, then it stops because it looks like I'm trying to rip something off. And I'm like, oh, I just don't like self-checkout. <laughs> I got so pissed the last time we went to the self-checkout. <laughs> he's, he's, he's less patient than I am, and it was a nightmare. <laughs> I don't like it either, and sometimes I do it if there's long lines and I just have a couple things. But yeah. It's Fun. almost to the point now where they don't even have enough people at the registers that's forcing you to do it. And I won't do it because it's jobs. Right. It's yeah, exactly. people's jobs. Did you see where she oh, said... Um, there's something. Oh, shoot. Is this crackling, crackling. her shirt? Um, I am just, I'm just changing her shirt color to like a taupey color, but I dry brush it. Let me see if I can get it. I dry brush it so that you can see the red a little bit still. And then when I crackle, you know, maybe it's some of that. Well, plus I sand. So actually when I'm done painting, I will sand it. And then I put the gloss on, then the crackle and then antiquing after that. So there's still several layers to go, but I like to add layers of color on top of it so that when I do sand, some of those layers show through or some of the color underneath shows through. Did you crackle or wait, did you decide to make the deep fried turkey? I have never done the deep fried turkey. Uh, we don't even, we don't have like one of those big fryers to do that. I heard it's delicious. They're so good. Yeah super moist but I no I do it in the oven the only time because I have like a kitchen down here in my studio and the reason is I know that sounds stupid but the reason is because when we made this barn pole barn into a studio we decided to make it so that it could be like what is that mother-in-law apartment like so if if we had an elderly parent or something that needed to move in with us, we could easily transfer this or make this into an apartment. So it has a, a shower, you know, a full bath, and it has, it's a full kitchen, but it just, I have a little apartment size refrigerator, but there is room if someone were to live in here, there's room for a full size fridge. Um, but anyways, uh, what was I getting at? Oh yeah. So, we actually, the only time I use that oven now is at Thanksgiving. I don't have enough oven space for the turkey and the ham and the green bean casserole and then this and then that, you know. So um, we usually put the turkey down here or the ham. I think we're doing two hams this year, though. But, but it's wonderful because then when I go back into the studio, that smell is still in my studio. <laughs> studio, <laughs> yeah. It smells so good. Two ovens are handy at Thanksgiving because oh. I use the one downstairs a lot, too. Yeah. I use Walmart online shopping and drive up and they load it. Oh, you know, I have not brave enough to do that, having people pick I up my either. 
Well, is it, I, do it, they pick out good produce in that's that? The thing. That's what I would be afraid of. Yeah, I mean, because my avocados, y'all, <laughs> they can't be too hard. They can't be too soft. You know, there's a fine line with avocados. And, and then you got to get some ripe ones, some medium right. ripe, and some not ripe. Exactly. So they let <laughs> That's <laughs> what I do. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, that's funny. So is that what you guys do, Colleen, then? You guys do the um, fry, the fry the turkey? That's really cool. I wish we could do that. That would free up my oven, too. I'd really like that. The and only thing do you use? Do you stuff your turkey? I do. Yeah. You can't do that. Oh, that's true. You know, <laughs> Brianna is vegetarian, so like I make stuffing for her. I mean, it's for everyone, but I, like I make two things of stuffing because I want one in the bird, and then I do another one that has like apples and stuff in it. Oh, super good. And then what else do I do? I have to do separate for Brie. I don't know, but. Oh, I'm, the can't, comments are going too fast. I can't read them. I don't let them get my meat or produce except bananas. Well, that, that's I a good do. idea. Yeah, yeah I, I could do that. do that too. They're good about refunding if you don't like it. Avocados are always hard. I know. They're a pain in the butt, but I love them so much. Well, not now that you convinced Cheryl to go keto. <laughs> now I have to eat healthy. <laughs> well, tell Cheryl I'm not even doing keto myself now. <laughs> I had a big. You can't do myself. keto at the holidays. Yeah, yeah, it's there's just no way. Tell her to start back up in January. <laughs> <laughs> we do fried turkey, dirty rice, and crawfish dressing. Ooh. Yeah, because you're in Louisiana. She lives right? in Louisiana. That's what I was thinking. Oh, yummy. <laughs> Poor oh, I can do without the crawfish, but. I'm coming to your house, Tina. Yeah, we're all coming to your house, Tina. Oh, my gosh. Ralph will even go. He loves crawfish. Oh, he loves any Cajun food. You know, it's too funny. All right. Okay. I, okay. I got a plan. Well, now that, oh. We are all fat and sassy down here. <laughs> 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 oh my Teresa, god Teresa they said you can make pumpkin martinis for them did you tell them when um, I was there and we no, made I did, them I did not tell them they're like little scientists trying to make those we read the but we read the menu we misread the recipe recipe yeah, we had too much, too much vanilla. No, what did we have too much of? Vanilla. Vodka. Yeah, the vodka. We had way too much of it. Didn't Cheryl make some of those, Colleen? Did I wonder? If her, did hers turn out good? Tasted like pure alcohol. <laughs> it's gross. So if y'all ever use Dixie Bell Pantina, if you read the instructions and the instructions they give you, they will tell you to um, do one coat, let it dry, and then do the second coat. And when that second coat's wet, just spray it. You don't have to do that. I tested it. And... Um, you can just do the one coat. Are you working on that tin tree now? Yeah. You're fast. So what are you painting on it right now? The black oxide or what is it called? The gray. Yeah. Where's and my... you don't ever want to brush it. 
You can brush it, but it'll this... leave brush marks. Sister girl, look up. Is that the one you're using? Yes. Oh, no. you ordered some. Oh, heck yeah. I you're going to be bananas. like me, rusting everything in your house. <laughs> yep. Yep. It's so funny because I... <laughs> So my coffee table is like an old antique table. I've, I've had it for, I mean, probably 15 years or more. And uh, so I bought this table when I was antiquing with my girlfriends. And then I, I had my husband cut the legs off or down, you know, so it's coffee table height. And <laughs> my dad comes over. My mom and dad were over. And my dad goes, oh, my gosh, did you find that on the side of the road? I'm like, I wish I paid good money for that table because <laughs> it's, it's all the <laughs> chippy paint and the top of it is all marked up and stuff. And hey, you know, I'm like, I got boys that play Hot Wheels and on every surface. So I'm cool with all this chippy stuff because I can't ruin it. But yeah, so rusty, grungy, crackle. <laughs> we like it, don't we, Kristen? Yeah. Love it. Oh my gosh. Tina says, I just ordered it on my iPad. <laughs> I love it. Just now? Yeah. <laughs> oh, she did. My iPad went dead, so now I got to look at my phone for comments. It's pretty cool, all the different paints that are coming out and all the, you know, the different techniques. Mm-hmm. They have some amazing <laughs> There's one they got um, at the store in town here that has it in stock. It's right in Spring Hill. She's got all the finishes done. Um, I forget what the other one is. There's the copper. The this one and something else. But the other one's okay. It's just not old looking though. It's a different brand though. No, it's it's Dixie oh. Bell. They have like the three metal ones and I forget what the other one is. Oh, okay. But um So then when it's wet, you want to just let me see. So while the paint's still wet is when you spray that stuff on? Mhm. Mm Yeah. And it'll start rusting. Um, now, I need to get a dish to put it in. I don't want my spray to mix in. It's dripping here. So I wonder if I could, like if I painted the angel, but like had all of her wings showing, I wonder if I could paint it with that paint and like tape off the angel's face so I didn't get that sprayed on and then make it rust right on the canvas or the board I'm painting on. Yeah, you could. Would that people be use it on canvas? Really? Wouldn't that be awesome though? Like rusted tin wood. Oh, on yeah. It. Oh, you got me thinking, Kristen. That would be beautiful. That would be so cool. You could probably do the wings first, maybe, and then paint her face after. Yeah, just so I didn't accidentally mess that up. Mm-hmm. Hmm. 
that's my next project. <laughs> yeah. Because, I mean, you can use it on wood. I've tried it on, um, like, what I tested it on to do a single layer. Yeah. Was cardboard because I wanted when I did it like the color that I the base color to sort of show through mm -hmm. so you t and it worked on cardboard even that's cool. yeah because there's so much there's just it's all like ground up fine fine metal like powdery so no matter what, yeah, I guess no matter what surface then, because it's reacting with the metal. So oh, we're missing some comments here. I feel like it takes a lot of patience to be a good painter, deal with all the materials and techniques. Well, Yeah, I that would have been pretty on her prayer chair. Oh, God, the wings. I know I didn't have that paint at that time. Starting to Is change it? a little bit, not get rusty. It's starting to get like, um, I think too, because it's on the metal. So, did you ever rush your own metal like stuff? You put it in, um, there's a mixture, it's like. Hydrogen peroxide, salt, and vinegar. I have never done that, no. And um, you soak your metals in it or whatever. But it rusts really good like that, too. But this is much easier and quicker. Yeah, definitely. See, that's the thing. It's about speed these days. Yes. And you can do it to anything, you know, it doesn't have to be metal. Do you think they are seeing comments? Kristen and I are reading the comments. I can't, I don't know what your name is. Let me click. I wonder if I can click on it. No. Did we miss some? We may miss some because we're not always looking at it. Let me go back and look. Man, all my paints are drying up. Oh. I don't see that we missed any. But last week you had um you could see more than I could. Really? I don't know why. Well, like you were saying some, and it, remember I said, oh, that isn't on mine. Oh, okay. I wonder why that was. I don't know. I can't figure any of this stuff out anymore. <laughs> but it's worth, we're not letting it stop us. Good. Good. What is it called? I think she's talking about your paint. The the paint I'm using is um, Dixie Bell Pantina Iron. And then I'm spraying it with this spray. It is the green Pantina spray by Dixie Bell. And this will turn all rusty. It'll look all rusted. Then you have to I seal should it bring. Like that. Yep. All right. These I'll probably just spray because they're not. I bought this. Have you ever used this gator hide? Oh, yeah. I use that. That's what I use on my furniture. Okay. 
Yeah, I was on their site just reading everything, and oh my gosh, have you ever gotten this? They're scrubby with the the orange scented scrubby. No, what is that for? Um, well, I haven't actually opened it. It says easily removes paint, oil, and dirt, grease, and more. So I think you use this to clean your furniture or whatever you're going to work on. But it's oh, it's it's infused with oranges. Orange scent. Oh my gosh, it smells. It smell good. Yeah, so it's like a bar of soap, but it's got like a little scrubby on it. Pretty cool. That's yeah, nice. You know, I can't just buy the things I went there for. I have to add to my cart. And then what is this I bought? Oh, white lightning cleaner. I bought that too. Yes, I use that on all my furniture. Oh, okay before I start the powder and you mix yeah. it with water. Okay. Yeah. It was, it looks like it's granules or something. Yeah. And you mix it like it'll last you forever because oh, it's good. like I got one of those big industrial sprayers. I hear turbo. <laughs> I think Gabby must be home and he is whining. Do you hear him whining? Yeah, I can hear him. It's so cute. Hello. Oh, I see. You see him? I saw him. Come here, baby. Say hi to everybody. Come here. <laughs> I love this little girl. He is such a baby. Yes, he is. He wants his mama, huh? Yeah, because she got home just a little while ago, and then she had to leave. She is going to Delaware tomorrow with her dad for um, Lauren or Taylor's in a bowling tournament. Oh wow! So That's we're going there to see her. That's cool. I bet it's cold in Delaware. I know. That's what I said. And she said, no, I looked and it's supposed to be really nice. Well, that's good. Like in the 50s. Our snow's pretty much melted already. Can you believe it? A week ago, we had, you know, six to eight inches of snow. I mean, I guess I can believe it because that was an early snow. So. So, um, it was 70, like, 3 here today. Hi, Daisy. Oh, it was 73 there? Oh, that's yeah. nice. That sounds wonderful. I remember I wanted to fix her eye. This eye is all janky. She's got a wandering eye there. So then I got these. These are from last year. Can you all see them? Hold on, I want to see. Oh, are those metal too? Yeah, but What's they're it? sort of shiny, so I'm going to put rust on these too. Oh, cool. <laughs> everything, Gabby goes, Mom, you need to lose the Noel. I said, everything has Noel on it. More this year than normal? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna, t I'm gonna call your husband and say, "Hey, you better not stand still too long. Kristen is gonna rust you." <laughs> I know it. <laughs> <sighs> he doesn't stand Terrible. still long, anyways, does he? He's always busy. He is. Guess what we got this past week installed? Installed? I have no idea. A horse fence. A real wooden fence. Oh, really? Yes. No more horses getting free? No, thank the Lord. But it just looks so much nicer. Yeah, it's so country looking, you know. That's cool. 
So, so you hard? know, I went ahead and did it without him knowing. Oh, really? <laughs> because this has been going on for how many years now? Right. So. It took matters yeah. in your own hands. Well, I'm sure he'll be thankful. He's because. He's well, glad. he's seen it and he is glad now. Yeah. I mean, hopefully, I think it'll be finished tomorrow. Well, that's awesome. Rust it all. That's what I'm doing. She's laughing. <laughs> she put a laughing face on me. DK Wilter. It's really hard for me to see with these lights. Oh, thank you. She said, I love how you do the angel's hair. Hey, you know what? I love everything about her angels. Thank you. You know what I was so excited when I got in my Christmas decorations? Last year, you sent me one of your ornaments. Oh, really? But which one? I don't even remember. It's funny. Um, the, the angel it's got... An angel on the front, on the back, it looks real old. Oh, okay. Like, and it's gold. Yep. I know what one you're talking about. Yeah, I'm going to show them. I'm going to get this and show her how this rust. I still haven't decided if I wanted to keep this or not. Yeah. So let's see here. Can you see the rust on this good? Oh, that's cool. What is that? Is that that mirror frame? Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Let's see. Right here where, like, the blue's showing through. I love that. A little bit. But that's what it does. That looks beautiful. And you were debating on keeping that instead of putting it with the piece that it belongs to? Yeah. Well, <laughs> you know, the one piece I sold, actually a couple of them I sold that the people had mirrors because they're dressers. Uh -huh. Neither of them used the mirrors. Oh. Because they're using them like as decorative tables or like a oh. buffet. Right. Got it. There you go. It's all yours now. Mm -hmm. But that one's just so pretty because it's so ornate. And... Yeah, it's gorgeous. And I love the blue showing through like that. I went to Joanne's to get, oh, just stocking up on my DMC floss and, oh, I got to show you this thing I bought. I put it on Instagram, but I don't know if you saw it. This thing that says holiday. I did, but I wanted, oh. how long is that? Look how long it is. This is, I think that's a 16 by 20, so it's got to be. I don't know, 30 inches? 30 inches. It is so cute. Isn't it cute? And all their stuff is 60% off. Like all their Hall or Halloween. <laughs> all their, a lot of their Christmas stuff. And I'm like, I'm surprised it's already 60% off. But I don't know. I was taking advantage of it. And then I bought these. I'm going to have to see if you can 
if I can show them. Okay, look. See those garlands hanging? Yes. Those <laughs> beads. Those were at Joanne's? Yes, but I bought those. It, that was before oh, Halloween. Um, what am I going to do with them? I don't know. I just thought they were cool. And they're not wood beads. They are, they're like felted balls. So they're like fabric. And I was carrying them around. They only had two left. And I, so I had to nab them. And I was stopped by two different people. Oh, what are you going to do with those? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I just love them. I had to, I had to buy them. <laughs> So anyways, yeah, so, we would be dangerous going in those stores together, Hobby it, Lobby. Yeah, it is so bad. So I was, so I went and bought, was restocking my DMC floss, and I was color, pulling some colors for some things I had charted, and of course buying other things that I didn't need, but it was on sale. Well, then I had one of my bags, the bag that had the most floss in it. I mean, I'm talking a gob of floss. Um, she didn't put it in my cart. I left. I got home and put my stuff away. And I'm like, oh my gosh, where is all that floss? So I the call most up. most important thing. <laughs> right? <laughs> I call up there and they're like, oh, we, we, you know, we have it. We tried to chase you out and evidently I was in a hurry. And uh, so I went, I had to go there today. I forgot my haircut. I went over there to pick it up. You know, can I just, can I just walk to the counter, get my damn floss and leave? No, nope. I, well, I, this is the problem. I had to use the bathroom. So you have to walk through the entire store. Yeah. I spent 70 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. It's, it's a sickness. It's, it's just a sickness. It is. I know. Everything is backwards. I wish so badly we could change that. But it's not like that on Facebook. It shows it the right way on Facebook. Because it looks like I'm painting left-handed, but I'm not. Okay, so I think I really like the color palette on this angel now. What time is it? Well, it's after nine already. Why? Is it really? I just don't understand why it has time has to go so fast. I can't believe it's that late either. I know. So now what I'm taking, I'm doing, I'm taking the end of my brush, the opposite end, and just dipping it in white paint. And just making little dots on her halo. So does it look like... Now when you will put the burnt umber over that, will those pop out then? Oh, okay. I see. Can you see the little dots? And I'm just gonna yeah, go from a down. distance, you can't see the, like, stripes I in know. her halo. Yeah, it's so... So I, it looked all white. Yeah. But now I see what you're doing. Yeah, I got her I'm a gonna... lot more white on her wings, and I changed her dress to kind of taupey color. I like the, I like the limited color palette on this. I do too. Yeah. Yeah. What size is that? I think it's a sixteen twenty. Or sixteen by twenty. But I'm really hoping that the crackle like cracks a lot. Like I want this to be really kind of grungy, grungy angel. See, and when you spray, like if you wanted to put that rust on her wings, yeah. When you spray this, I don't like push it. I just squeeze it tiny bit. You don't want to like go. Psh, psh. Oh, really? You just do a little bit and let it spray. So I mean, you wouldn't even have to get her hair or anything. So it stays. It doesn't like have a. Walk. Well, it'll. What you want to do is when you do it, 
I would, if you were to do that, lay it down. Oh, okay. Flat. Got it. So after you spray it, and you just want to spray that. Now, some people will take, like, another brush, like, because you want to use a brush sort of like, I used a little one here. Let me get a clean one. Tina wants to know if you have used the Dixie Bell Crackle. Yes. It works very well. I have. Um, it, it's really, really thick. And it takes a long time to dry. If you don't put it on thick enough, it won't crackle good. If you put it on too thick, it'll drip. Oh, wow. Like if it's a piece of furniture or something, you know, unless it's laying down. So, but it does work good. You just got to play with it to get it. Once you use it, like, um, I used a, I forget what brand it was. And then I got the Dixie Bell one. And that's what I use now. But it took me a couple times. And I finally, the first time I used it, it was dripping in that. So I just got a sample board and was, um, I did it on that tested different thicknesses in that. So That's that, why I was wondering to try yours. That's the kind you paint on first and then put your paint over it. That's what I was just going to ask you. Yeah. Okay. But for the... Now you can also take a brush like this, Teresa, like a flat top one. Uh-huh. Like a stencil brush? Yeah, well, these are not as stiff as a stencil brush. Okay. And they actually will soak up. So you can pour, like one lady I seen, she poured a little bit of this um, spray in a bowl. And oh, she dabbed it on. And then you can take the spray. You can dip it in there like I'm getting the drip marks now. But and just go over it. Okay. So you don't even have to spray it on. Well, that's good. A little more control that way. Yeah. So is it is the rust showing now? Um. I mean, like, does it well, it's, it's definitely on the trees. You can see. It's oxidizing. Oh, yeah. Yep. Um, if you, you can use... see on this, I don't know if you can see in there. See where the spray's puddled up? It's sort of rusty. Yeah, I do see that. So it takes about four or five hours for it to okay. completely be done. Rust, yes. If you use modern or Mod Podge, then paint over it, it crackles. Really? Mod Podge crackles? It does. I didn't know that. I didn't know it did either. Well, you know what? I think it makes sense because I think Mod Podge is glue. It's got. Yeah, so I mean, it's some sort of glue. Yeah, I mean it's made. And of basically, or... crackles. Like a lot of people just use Elmer's glue for their crackle. Get out! Really? How yeah. did I not know this? <laughs> I had no idea. All right. I want to do something here. I'm going to spatter some paint on her. Feeling frisky. I just don't want the paint to fly everywhere because I got cross stitch behind my easel. She said she just did it by accident. Isn't that fun, though, when you're just kind of experimenting with your 
you know, your paints and your materials and something happens, you're like, oh, wow, I didn't expect uh -huh. that. That's cool. I'm going to try that because I got a crap load of Maj Paj. I do too. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Oh my gosh, never mind. I'm getting the stuff everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you have to finish now, don't you? Well, <laughs> I was just spattering it, but when I was hitting my brush, I got too much liquid, I guess, because I'm hearing it. Like, I look back, it's it's behind me. It's everywhere. <laughs> Jeez. All right, I'm getting a little too crazy with this, though. I'm going to see if I can get some drips. Can you guys even see that? Yeah. Oh, I love that. Let's see if I turn this light down a little bit. Whoops. Oh, I just... So what are you doing there? Mixing it with water? Yeah, so I'm using burnt sienna and mixing it with water. And then just like letting it run. Burnt sienna gives a, it's a rust color. So it kind of gives the effect of rust. Mm -hmm. Fired me with your rust painting tonight, Kristen. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I wasn't planning on doing this, but kind of fun. I think I'm going to have to buy that. <laughs> Teresa's paint. like, no, you're not. I'm keeping that. <laughs> Everybody wants it. I'm just going to watch you. <laughs> and I'm just playing around, which is actually part of the fun of I don't want it running down her face, though. That'd be a little weird. Like she's dripping, like she's sweating rust or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. That's kind of cool. I love those drips. I do too. <laughs> I did that on another painting. I'll show you real quick. It's um it's a real like a primitive Halloween cat. And I did it with black um black paint on that one. Oh yeah, I love that. It looks more stripey on here where I'm trying to make that look more natural, like it was yeah. or something. Yeah, I like that. That's really cool. Ogden Stitcher said hello. Hello. I look at the one I have every day. Which one do you have? I'm so bad with the names on Instagram. I don't know anyone's. Who's who? Yeah, it really messes with me. <laughs> and then I feel bad. So what's your real name, DK Wilkes? Is it the proper? Oh, yeah, she's Daisy. She said Daisy earlier. 
Oh. Right? Yeah. There was another one, though. I wasn't sure what her name was. <laughs> I'm scrolling back, and someone's name is Goober's Ma 3. <laughs> That's funny. I love the name. Goober. Goober's Mom. Oh, I know what I wanted to do. I don't remember now. It's funny because, you know, sometimes when I'm working on an angel, I don't, like, see things. And then when I post it to Instagram, I can see it. But, like, right here, like, to me, her, it doesn't look natural. Like, her hair looks like it's behind her face. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I see it. what you're saying. Yeah. And it's so funny. Like, when you just, a lot of times you have to get back from your work and, you know, step back. Or a lot of times I'll take it and I'll look in the mirror and you can see if things are off. And um, But, yeah, posting to Instagram, man, anything that I don't like about it just glares. <laughs> so I need to fix that. But after I fix that, I think... I'm going to sand it. Like, like next time we paint together, I will be starting a new painting because this one will be done. Yeah, I'll be starting something new, too. Yeah. Um, hey, yeah. So she on. said she she just came up the driveway and was honking in this oh. window. I was waving to her. She put, yes, you can hear me honk. <laughs> um. The angel I said looked like my daughter. Oh. She said she sort of won it. Oh. Oh my gosh. It's all coming to me. I'm so sorry, Daisy. I'm slow. <laughs> yes. Yes, for my 3,000 subscribers. Um, yeah, Fab de Beaujolais was the name of that painting. <laughs> yeah. What is the name of it? It's, it's okay. So it's a, it's an angel holding a bunny rabbit, and I wanted, and I love that painting. I love it's got navy blues, and in the background I put like some gold, and some blue. I don't know. It just I love the way it turned out. But so I looked up, um, French for brown bunny or something. I don't know. So anyway, that's where that came from. Fave de Beaujolais. <laughs> I think Beaujolais is bunny, and I think Fav is brown, little brown bunny, or something like that. Oh. So, okay, Daisy, now I'm putting it in perspective as to who you are and everything. Oh, oh thank you. I'm so glad you like it. Very heartwarming story about that painting and how she got it and everything. It's pretty cool. Alrighty. I remember you talking about that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I know I'm lucky enough to have, I got two of them in my house. What am I doing here? I don't know. I just am making a mess. <laughs> I got this. Uh, it's galvanized steel, of course, and it says it's an old looking sign. It says how many days till Christmas, and, and it's got one through 25 on it. Oh, cool. Well, I don't know if you can see this. I sort of tried to paint it. I'm painting it rusty. Well, what is but it? But it's a wreath. It's a magnetic wreath to go over. It circles the numbers. Oh. But it was painted white with, like, cheesy green wreathy. Like, <laughs> that's really old looking and rustic. And then it had this bright white with bright green it's like, okay, that's got to go, too. <laughs> yeah, right? 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Like it matched the whole thing. They had it, uh, Joanne, they had the coolest advent, advent calendar. Um, it was tin, like galvanized tin. And I think, I'm trying to remember now, I think it was shaped like a tree. And, and then it had little tin pockets. Like you could put a piece of candy or something or, you know, whatever, a little toy or something in each pocket. Oh, I loved it so much. And I'm like, I don't need this. I mean, Ellery's here and Easton are here once a week. It just doesn't make sense to have something like that. But, oh, if I had little kids, I would have bought that in a heartbeat. How is that going? Having the kids? Yeah, with the two of them. So good. It it was, so, it's just so much fun. Yeah, they're... So far, so good. I mean, I've only had them by myself twice, so. Um, They're so precious. So. Oh, my gosh. It's just awesome. You probably stay a lot more busy than you did with just celery. Oh, heck, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I do. Kristen don't, <laughs> Tina said, Kristen don't like nothing bright. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, grandchildren are so fun. No Mary and Bright here. Mary and Mary and Rusty. <laughs> yeah, I'm waiting. I can't wait till Gabby has a baby. Oh my gosh. I can only imagine how fun that's going to be. You have to let me know when she goes in labor and I'll have to do the red eye flight. Come down. Flight. <laughs> you have to. I hope you can come when we go to Gatlinburg. For the bachelor. After the March show, yeah. I'm sure I'll be doing it. Kevin hasn't like said yes. He hasn't said no. One of those things. He kind of knows I'm going to do what I want. <laughs> Anyways, my big thing is just making sure I have all my customers taken care of. So I have to make sure to take enough inventory to Nashville this year so I don't run out. Well, with your new and hopping printer. Right? Shouldn't be an issue. Right. <laughs> I'll have you in the room stuffing patterns, girl. <laughs> I will. You know I, I will. I know you will. Oh, <laughs> uh, that was so much fun last year. I know. I liked working at it. I'll come earlier, Kevin. When you went out and about the one day. Yeah, Sunday. Yeah, you were still pretty busy. And when I walked in, you could tell Kevin was like, <gasps> Thank goodness she's here. <laughs> but you had said that um, it's usually not that busy on Sundays, although it was pretty busy. Yeah, it's usually not, but um, yeah, it's such a good show. So much fun. So you working on that by your face now? Yeah trying to get that to blend in better and make it look a little bit more realistic. I mean, you know, I don't go for realistic on my paintings, but um, some things just bother me and I got to fix them. Is my head blocking it or no? No, not at all. Oh, good. It always feels like it is. I'm just watching your live too. That's what I was doing last week. I was trying to watch you do your furniture. <laughs> Not getting much done that way, right? No. What I, I wanted to get this done because I got everything completely decorated. and I thought, well, that's what I'm going to do tonight. Well, it's cool that you showed how to do that rust. I think that's awesome. Yeah, so I'll show it next week or once it rusts. I need to take a picture. It's starting to a little bit. 
Yeah, it's it's what you paint on Wednesday, so it can be anything. Right? Yeah. It's Jeremy came up, you know, his shops here. Uh-huh. He came up here today and said, are you ready for what you paint on Wednesday? <laughs> <laughs> that is hilarious. I'm like, get out of here. I love it. I love it. That's awesome. Does he, is he on Instagram or would he even be watching it? Uh, I don't know if he's on Instagram. No. He I won't Kevin's, be watching it. Kevin's not on Instagram either. But he's he's busy on the basement working on that anyways. Because you know he's so he's putting in the ceiling and he's it's, he's using the sheet metal first. He's got to paint it black and it's a whole it's a whole rigmarole <laughs> thing that he's doing. But he's also adding lights and more duct you know heat runs duct work. So it's not just you know like what he's doing. It's not just putting up the ceiling he's got to run all this extra stuff so you know I've never been in your basement I know well it was it's not finished so next time you come though well probably I'd rather I, we have this huge tv down there so we like to watch if we're gonna watch a movie we like to go down there and watch a movie because it's it's just the TV's bigger and, you know, there's not a lot of light, so you can, it's perfect for watching movies. Yeah. We'll have to hang out down there next time. She does make it look so easy. All those little details. Gadget Girl Stitcher said you make it look so easy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That looks a lot better, doesn't it? I think so. And it's just those little things, you know, that you do on these paintings. And you might think, oh, that's not going to make that much difference. But when all those little things, they add up, you know, it makes the whole painting look better. The, the only thing she don't like about the South is no basements. Oh, yeah. Where do you store everything? That's because my aunt and uncle, you know, they live in Missouri and no basement to store stuff. I guess maybe you wouldn't have as much stuff then. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Um. Well, up. Stairs and my upstairs over our garage. That's a whole attic. Yeah, that's awesome. That's perfect for porn stuff. Yeah, that's what I use. We have a walkout basement here, but I don't store anything in it because I don't live there. So. Or my daughter lives down there. All right, well, I think I'm pretty much done. I'm just going to, I don't know, I can, well, I don't know if it's dry enough to sand. I was going to say I can show you how I sand it, but um, it's already after 930. That's insane. Time flies. So I'll just do a little close-up so you can see what I did tonight. So tonight. I love her. I changed the color of her dress. This was black. I changed that. I painted her little hair tie. I did a little more detail on her halo. And then I put this rust drippy stuff on. Oh, and I went over her wings with white. I didn't do really anything to her hair. I love the blue. You see the blue in her hair? Mm -hmm. I love that. I love how it dripped down on her wings, too. I didn't I notice know. that earlier. I love it. Especially over here, it like made, created like a shadow. Yes. Yeah, I like it too. She is gorgeous. Thank you. She cute. She got a cute little face. So yeah, I'm gonna. So I'll sand. I love the color palette on that. I think I said that already, but um. 
So if you just watch on Instagram, you'll see the details of the finished one. Attics and outside buildings. Oh, yeah, for storage. Or like, like, do you, see now, do you have garages? Because my aunt and uncle in Bernie, Missouri, they have carports. So they don't even have garages. Garages. None of them do, or? Uh, I, that's a good question, but all the places I've been with my aunt and uncle and, you know, as many years as I've been going there, I don't really notice anyone having a garage. Not to say nobody does, but um, maybe it's, I don't know. It's more of a, I thought that was a Southern thing. Yeah, that's right. So Tina, yeah, carports. So um, Tina is, you grew up in Sykeston, Missouri, right? And so isn't that funny? Because that's like 30 minutes from where my aunt and uncle live in Bernie, Missouri. And we would go to Sykeston to, you know, well, there's a hospital there. There's a little bit of, sh well, there's shopping there. It's probably more shopping there now than when you were there, Tina, <laughs> when you lived there. But um, in Lambert's, home of the throw, throw rolls or whatever, where they throw the rolls at you. Have you ever heard of Lambert's? Yeah, they got one in, um, Oh, there's Alabama. No. Alabama. Alabama. <laughs> um, down by where we went to the ocean. I think it's Alabama. Really? Yeah. They have such good food. And that whole throwing the rolls, I mean, the boys, oh, they just thought that was the coolest thing on the planet. Do you go there all the time when you go there? No, not always. Because we always... We mostly cook, you know, but um, Tina said Orange Beach, Alabama must be. Yes. Oh, and they have one in Mobile. Mobile. But so yeah, Orange Spain. Beach is the one we went into. Well, it is a chain, but I believe it's, well, it might not be anymore. It was family owned. Oh. But you can get miserable eating there oh my gosh you're not kidding it's so good like fried okra oh my gosh yes yep I had that there before too there's just certain things when I'm in the south I gotta have is that really loud and annoying the it's same not thing? any louder than mine no okay So when I do this, it depends too on the direction that I do the sanding. I'll show you a close up here in a second. What grit do you use? This one is, oh, right here. I use all different kinds. I never stick to one. This is actually those pieces that go on the palm sanders. Yeah. Yeah. Because um, I use the palm sander for my um, prints on wood. But this is. That paint's that durable then. Yeah. What the heck does it, it where does it say? Am I just not seeing that? Or is it not on here? I don't know. It sounds rough. So. It's pretty darn rough. I don't normally have it. That's what I was asking you. Is your paint pretty durable? Yeah. Um. Oh, no. Is that it? Six meters. I don't, I don't know. It doesn't say. That's weird. I mean, there's numbers on it, but normally it says... It just says like 60. I don't know. Don't Is ask. it 60 grit? It must be. I was like, don't ask me complicated questions. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Tina said, we love food more than our figures down here. <laughs> So can you see where I sanded it, how it puts like lines in it, like little scratches yeah. in our, in right here? Yeah, I love that. So that's why I paint it black first so that when I do scratch it, sand it, you get the black. <laughs> And you got to be careful. You can't sand too much on the face because it looks like she has a five o'clock shadow. I made that make mistake before. <laughs> you know? Oh, I bet. Like the black starts showing through and it's like, oh, she needs to shave. <laughs> See, I wouldn't have ever thought about that. Yeah, I didn't either till I did it. And then I was like, okay, just a little more paint there should take care of that. I wish I could do that on my face. Just, you know, I mean, you can with makeup, but I'm not that good. You know, that's so funny. Cause, okay, being an artist, wouldn't you think I'd be good at, like, makeup? Horrible. Like, I'm, I'm bad at, like, people do those pretty eyeshadows and the eyeliner. I stuff. can't do that. Today. I'm Awful at it. it. Absolutely awful. Should say on the back, Daisy. I know. It's, okay, so it says. Let me see. 336U aluminum oxide, and then it says 60 down here. So I don't 60. know. 60. It's grit. 60 grit. All right. So I don't know much about sand. <laughs> Well, yeah, just the way it sounds. Yeah, it's it's pretty. I, I usually use a finer one for the sanding on the painting, but I bought this for that palm sander, so and that's really all I could find, so I'm going for it. So now she's done. Mm -hmm. You're done painting her. Yeah. Yeah. I love the colors and I'm satisfied with it. So now when I sand here, that red paint I was telling you, as I sand the red paint's kind of showing through a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Oh, on her dress? Yeah. Alrighty. I like it. She's so pretty. So now I'll just put some before I go tonight, I'll put gloss on it, and then, well, no, I won't, because I want to wait an hour, so I'll do that. So I can't do it tomorrow. I got the grandkids. All right, Friday. <laughs> Friday. I'll put the gloss on and then do the crackle. So at some point Friday, you'll be able to see on Instagram the results. I'll maybe do a little video or something. All right, y'all. 60. Thank you, Daisy. 
All right. Well, I'm so glad you guys joined us. Thanks for your comments and questions. It was fun hanging with y'all and always fun hanging with Kristen. I love this, that we do this every Wednesday. I'm so glad we decided you know every Wednesday instead of every other Wednesday. So we got to work on trying to do the... Um... What you painting there? Hey, hey, hey. I want to see that. I don't know. I'm just playing. Playing. That's so pretty. Is that like I just, just the started it? It's barn wood. Cool. I like it. So I was just playing while you were sitting there and watching you. Anyways, we got to work on Zoom. Yep. So we'll see everybody in two weeks. And Everyone, happy, happy Thanksgiving. Yeah. Happy thing, Happy Turkey Day. Whether you bake it, roast it, fry it, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. All love right. You, then. Love you too. Bye, Bye ladies. Everybody. Thanks for joining us.